What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. In today's Division 2 video, it's going to be for all of you new and returning players and everyone dusting off, you know, brushing off the dust of your Division 2 copy. You're downloading it for the first time in, I don't know, six months, a year, 18 months, two years, who even knows? But there are a lot of changes with year four and this latest title update. And one of those changes is pretty vital to your leveling process. And that is the expertise leveling system. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you like a day one guide is what they used to call it or like a uh, four dummies guide. You know, something that's for new and, you know, returning and beginning players and everyone alike. That way everyone is on the same page and understands the expertise leveling system and how to navigate it, how to, you know, say you're farming all day, how how am I going to level up my expertise? Shouldn't I just dismantle it or sell it? Or what do I do with all this gear that I'm getting from Countdown? It's like Skittles, just like, hey, piece of candy. Hey, piece of candy. So I'm going to talk about all that, show you, hold your hand, make sure you, you, know, you get it, and then uh, we'll high five at the end of it, and uh, we'll go our separate ways. How about that? So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We're about to hit 41,000 subscribers. Holy shit balls, man. This shit's getting real. But all right, here we go. So now what I've been doing to just grind for gear is I've been doing the countdown uh, new game mode. It just, it drops so much gear and all of those hunters and all of those named enemies, they drop a lot of really good stuff. Not only that, but remember there's this uh, new vendor over here that you can buy stuff as soon as you have enough of these uh, countdown requisition, you know, credits. Now, um, enough about that. Uh, every time I run Countdown, I come back with, you know, 50, 60 pieces of gear. If I run Countdown two times in a row, all of a sudden my inventory is full. And I'm like, well, what do I do with all this? Do I sell it? Do I dismantle it? Well, you can easily just, you know, level up your expertise, you know, piece by piece. But over time, it will greatly, you know, benefit you. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here we are. You're at the recalibration station at the base of ops in Washington, D.C. And there's this new tab. It's called Expertise. What the hey? What, what is that? And uh, we're, we're going to go through it completely. But first, check it out. So my inventory right now is full 150 of 150. And I have about 100 items that I can get rid of. Um, a lot of them are new items. You can see they have the little exclamation, explanation point on it showing me that I have some new items in these categories and mods. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like with the new gear that just drops. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with just gear that's hanging in your inventory when it comes to this expertise leveling system. So let's jump in. Go into your recalibration station and open up expertise. You can see I am now level five. Let's go. I'm about 25% of the way there. Um, and it took a lot of grinding to get there. So I do know a little bit about this. All right. So first up, your gear that was showing up as new under your inventory will also show up as new in your expertise um, you know, little system here. Now you can see that there was one sniper that showed up new and eh, it's looking like it's about it. So here's your one example. So whenever you get a brand new piece of gear, you can scroll down, well, which one is it? I have no idea. And then boom, there it is. So it's the darkness. So I click on that and yep, I sure do. I have a brand new darkness marksman rifle. And then you go to donate it. You can see at the bottom, around the middle part of your screen, it says donate selected. So I hit X and then it says confirm. Yep, confirm, boom. And now I am proficiency rank two for the darkness. And I've never even used this weapon. Now the way that these weapons work is it takes 20 duplicates to fully um, proficient that item. So weapons, 
and named items and exotics. These two categories, all you need are 20 duplicates of any of these items, and you can fully, um, you know, proficient yourself with that item. So let's start. Um, so now, if I go back to my inventory, I have 149 out of 150. It's like, oh, great. You know, I, I, I did all that, and I, I only have one less in my inventory. So here's the other way of doing this. So say you go through all of your gear. It doesn't show up as new. It's just in your inventory, and you're like, how do I get rid of it? Well, there's a little trick here. So you can see there's a little box with a little number in the top left corner of each of these items. A lot of them say zero, but for example, right here at the classic M1A, it says one. So if I click on that, look at that. I have one I can donate. And then boom, all of a sudden I'm proficiency rank two on my classic M1A, and now it's back down to zero. And then you can th scroll down through this category. Look, there's another one for my M1A CQB. Click on that. Yep, I have one I can get rid of. And now I'm proficiency rank one. And you can see, like, just me going through this with you, I've already gone up three different proficiency ranks. And on the left-hand side of your screen where it says expertise level, you, you'll notice that underneath that five, it says five out of 200. That five out of 200 is your progression to get to level six. You have to get up to 200 proficiency ranks to go up this level. And I've only done five so far for my expertise level five. Now I understand it's a lot of numbers and it can be confusing, but just think of it this way. For each one of these levels, that number is gonna go up. As soon as you reach, you know, that 200, it'll set you on expertise level six, and then so on and so forth. So as you are slowly progressing each of these items that you aren't even using, just by donating duplicates, you're able to increase your expertise level seamlessly. All you have to do is keep all the gear that drops, come back here, and then just get rid of it that way. Kind of like your recalibration library from back in the day. So let's scroll down here. I think that might be it for the rifles. They all look like zero, okay. And then just go through the next one. So assault rifles, there's one for the capacitor, but that's from my build and I don't wanna get rid of that. So I wanna keep that. Keep going. Eagle bearer, I know I have one eagle bearer. I don't wanna get rid of that. FAMAS, okay, I can get rid of this one. Now you can see on the right side of your screen where it says proficiency rank. It has 44,000 out of 88,000. You get 44,000 per duplicate. So as soon as I hit donate, boom, now I'm proficiency rank one. And you can see underneath that expertise level five that now it says six out of 200. So you can see I only have to go up 200 proficiency ranks. Now that is equivalent to becoming proficient in 20 items. So 20 items start to finish proficient would get me up one level. Now, based off of your expertise level, that's how many times you can upgrade your item. So as soon as it's proficient, you can upgrade your item up to grade five. All right, here's the king breaker. Ooh, I do have an extra king breaker. So look, I'm uh, profic uh, proficiency rank nine right here and Boom, now I'm proficient. Look at that, that's what's up. And uh, at the end of this, I'll upgrade a couple items. That way you can see what that looks like as well. But you can see I just went up another proficiency rank and underneath where it says expertise level five, now it says seven out of 200. So you can see how that's just gonna steadily go up. All right, so let's go through this category. I'm showing you in slow-mo because I'm about to do it really quick and show you how you know I normally do this. Okay, so assault rifles are done. Go down to snipers. Oop, I have a commando. All right. Couple coverts. Couple long sticks. All right. A G28. You know, I'm getting some levels in here. Uh, M700 tactical. A nemesis. Bye-bye. Two scalpels. Boom. And a couple white deaths. All right. Now you can see I'm 13 out of 200. So you can see how this is already, you know, 
getting me these numbers that I need. And if I just keep doing, like, this is only from one, you know, thing of inventory. I, all I did was play countdown twice and my inventory is completely full. And instead of just getting rid of all that junk, you can sit here and just donate it. Make it, you know, a part of your expertise leveling system. And before you know it, you're going to be way up there in expertise levels. And then you can get your weapons to hit harder. You can get your skills to hit harder. You can get your builds to be tankier. There, there's a, a lot of good that comes out of this. Let's make sure I'm not messing up anything. New reliable. Nope, don't want that. Quiet roar. Get rid of that. All right, SMGs, Banshee, bye-bye. Emmeline's Guard. But you can see all I'm doing is I'm scrolling down and I'm making sure all of these say zero. If they say zero, that means there's nothing that I can put into that expertise um, or proficiency rank. And therefore I can just move on to the next one. And that is it for SMGs. All right, so now you can see I'm 21 out of 200. So now I'm over 10% of the way to my next level. And I've just started. I've just started going through my weapons and I'm just donating whatever I can see. So if I see that that box says anything other than zero, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna see if it's something that's on one of my builds or if it's something I can donate. Because you never know. All right, then we're going through our weapons. Now, another cool trick that I'll tell you right now is you can um, go to your vendors, right? So you can go to any vendor in the game and they are selling weapons. And typically those weapons are a lot cheaper than the gear. And it only takes 20 duplicates to become fully proficient in a gear item. Uh, or a weapon, or named item, or exotic item. Only takes 20 duplicates. So what you can do is you can go to any vendor in the game, and whatever random weapon they are selling, you can just buy 20 of them, and all of a sudden you are fully proficient in that item. Um, for example, let me scroll up here and I'll show you. So under Marksman Rifles, look at this. Adrestia, I, I'm fully proficient in that. Uh, the only way to get that is from Tidal Basin, and that's what you get when you start the Nemesis project. It, it's not a weapon you even really use, but I'm already fully proficient in it. And that's from either donating duplicates or donating materials. It's super easy to do. Now, the strategy I'm showing you right now is just going through your duplicates just from playing the game. It, it's very, very simple. Um, it's like seamless and it really doesn't take any time to do this. And then you just jump right back into it, grind some more, and then you're done. Now we're on holsters, uh, gloves. That was pretty quick. All right. Uh, now you can't do this strategy with skills. You would have to only donate materials or use the skill in the game. Now for the brand sets, um, this one's a little bit more lengthy because you're going to have a lot of gear. And it takes a lot of duplicates to upgrade your brand sets and gear sets. So this is going to be the time-consuming part. But if I uh, do it quick enough, you won't even notice. There we go. Now the brand sets and gear sets take a second to load. So if I do this quick enough, you can't even see the menu go back to the brand set or gear set. I'm just choosing them just based off of muscle memory at this point. And then I'm just getting rid of whatever gear that I have on my character that is not favorited and that is not a part of one of my builds because I only have builds um, on this character for farming or PVP. So if it's not a part of any of those builds, I really don't need it because all of those builds are, you know, maxed out or fully efficient or what have you. All right, so now we're in brand sets. So we just finished all of those gear sets pretty quick, right? 
And we've gone up a few levels. Now we're 31 out of uh, tw uh, 200. So we're making our way to expertise level six. Now I'm already proficient in the heartbreaker. So rigor. Now I'm not gonna have a lot of uh, gear set items because whenever I'm farming in countdown, I typically am farming either weapons or a certain piece of gear and it's not um, gear sets. So those drops are a little bit more rare, but that's it. So I've already gone through all of my expertise categories. Now, if I look back at my inventory, you can see that I went from 150 of 150 to now I'm at 52 out of 150. And a lot of that is from those gear set pieces and those brand set pieces because there's so many of them that drop in countdown. So if you're farming something like just say mask, for example, and you're trying to get the new catharsis mask, you could be farming mask forever, but all those drops are for all the different brand sets and gear sets. They just also happen to be mask. So you could farm that over and over and over and slowly chip away at each of these brand sets and gear sets. And over time, you'll be able to become proficient in all of them. It's just going to take some time and grinding. This is not something that you're going to be able to max out overnight. This is something that, you know, you need to see different ways of progressing through this system because it is going to take a while. And just like the recalibration system and the optimization station, there's still, a, you know, it takes a while to understand it, but once you get it, it is super easy. Okay, so that's, you know, how you would upgrade your expertise levels just randomly, just any average Joe. You know, you go farming, you, your inventory's full. What do I do with my shit? Well, you come over here and you donate it through the expertise leveling system. So now that we did that, let's uh, upgrade a few items. So going to expertise, now you can only upgrade an item that is proficient. For example, my eagle bearer is proficient and I'm already grade four. So I can get that up to grade five because my expertise level is five. So here we go, let's upgrade it. And boom, now my eagle bearer is grade five. I have been able to upgrade it five times because I am expertise level five. Now your proficiency and your being proficient in whatever item does not automatically mean you get to upgrade it. You need the expertise level in order to upgrade your items. You can be fully proficient in one build and not be expertise level one. And if you're not expertise level one, then it doesn't matter if it's proficient or not. It's not gaining anything. You can't upgrade it because you're only proficient, you know, or you're only expertise level zero. So what you need to do is work on getting as many of these items, brand sets, gear sets, what have you, get as many of them proficient as possible because the more items you become proficient in the higher your expertise level will be and whatever expertise level you are is how many times you can upgrade that item so right here i am expertise level five and i was able to upgrade my eagle bearer five times so now it is grade level five to match my expertise level now, I had to be proficient in this weapon before I could upgrade it. For example, I just became proficient in the Kingbreaker. You guys saw that on here. So I can go over here to the Kingbreaker, and I have enough to become, you know, grade one. So I'm going to upgrade it. Boom. And now I'm grade one. I have to do that four more times to get up to my grade five, which is my max right now for my character because I am only expertise level five. So the number of times you can upgrade an item is based off of your expertise level. It is not based off of your proficiency rank. Your proficiency rank just means you are about to become proficient in that item. And once that item is proficient, then you can upgrade it. I, I hope everyone gets this because I am getting questions left, right, and center 
about how people are so confused about this expertise leveling system. So I'm really trying to put it down to the bare minimums of layman's terms and just try to get you to understand. Okay, so I just showed you how to basically clear your inventory and level up your expertise at the same time. So the other way would be through materials. Now, that's where this marksman rifle came into play, is that I used materials to become proficient in that item, and I don't even have one of them. So let's try a different one. Um, I do not have the exotic sniper, Dread Edict. I already did that one too. What about the blue screen? I already did that one. Um, the pestilence. Doop -doop 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 -doop. All right, pestilence right there. Yay, there we go. All right, so I have yet to use the pestilence um, in this update. I'm sure I'll do it sometime next week. Now, going back, okay. So you're in your expertise leveling system and you go through your categories and you're like, man, I really want to become proficient in the pestilence. So then you go over to LMGs and it's all based off of alphabetical order. So then you scroll down to the P's and look, there's pestilence. Now you click research. So boom, there's research. Now right there, it would show you if you had any duplicates, anything like that. We don't. We don't even have the pestilence on this character. However, you can see that one of those options down at the bottom and middle of your screen, it says donation materials left trigger. So I click left trigger and boom, here are my materials that I can donate. Now I'm not gonna donate a lot because I really don't have a lot of materials. Um, so let's just do some uh, printer filament. And it shows that it would take 30 printer filament to gain me that much on the rank progression. And you can see there's that little green square underneath my proficiency rank for my pestilence. And that's how much I would gain of XP to donate 30 rare materials. So I click on that and then you can see the green box moved. And now that's where I would be if I donate another 30. And then it shows you. And then it keeps moving. So I can keep going. And then boom. All of a sudden now I'm proficiency rank 1 for my Pestilence. Now I'm going to say screw it and just go ahead and do another level. Boom. So now I'm proficiency rank 2 for my Pestilence. And you can just see how... You know, you can just keep doing this as long as you have the materials. You can just keep leveling them up over and over and over and over. All right. So now I'm proficiency rank five for my pestilence, and I've never even used it this update. And that's just because of these materials. So you can do materials, you can donate duplicates, or you can just use the gear. If you use the gear, it is based off of kill XP, not completion XP, not mission XP, not stronghold XP, kill XP. So the best way to do that, in my opinion, would be countdown because you gain XP, kill XP, off of anyone in your raid team getting a kill. As long as you're near them, you're going to get the XP. And having seven other people shoot and kill enemies, it's going to benefit everyone there with you. Now, do I have enough to get proficiency rank six? Eh, let's try it. I sure do. Nice. Boom. All right, I'm going to stop there. I don't want to waste all my materials. But you can see right there I went from proficiency rank one to six on my pestilence just from donating materials. Now, when everything's said and done, you can see I went from 5 out of 200 to 37 out of 200. And that's just running twice on countdown. So what's that? Plus 32. So you're roughly gaining about 11 to 12% of a expertise level every two countdown runs. As long as you can get all of those high-end items and gear set items to drop, you will have a full inventory and then you can come over here and donate all of them. And then every single time you um, gain a proficiency rank, it'll level up your expertise level and then you can level up and upgrade all of your proficient items. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, everyone. 
I, I've beaten this dead horse. Eh, that, that's, a, that's a bad saying. I, I have told you all that uh, you need to know about this. Now, there are different ways of gaining materials. Uh, for instance, you can make a new character. And then when you make a new character, use all of these scavenging points off of your shade level to max out all of your materials. And then you can come over here to Anaya. And there will be an option here that says share materials account wide. So if you click on that, it'll share all of those materials to all your other characters. And if you are already maxed out on character or on materials, when you share it across your characters, it'll just add on top. So you can walk around with five times the amount of materials. You would just have to make a new character five times max out all their materials, and then share the materials to your other accounts. Um, so you can do it that way for the materials farm of it, or if you have enough credits and you can buy stuff, like I said, I'll run over here and show you. So like I said, uh, you can go, you can see, look at this. All of these weapons are proficient. And you know why? It's because I bought 20 of each of them and I donated them. And then all of a sudden I'm proficient in all of them. So all of these weapons in this vendor are proficient. And if I go down here to the clan vendor, I'm pretty sure it's the same over here. Uh, you could do that every single week as long as you have enough credits where you could just run around to each of these weapons, buy 20 of them, and you can become proficient. Look at that. Artist tool, proficient. I've never even used the artist tool. Look at this. Proficient, 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 proficient. See? And all it is is from buying 20 of them and donating them. Now, I did not do that with the gear items because the gear items, brand sets, gear sets, they take so many duplicates to become proficient. It's not even fair. I'm telling you. So I would stick to weapons, named items, and exotics. Those are your ticket to get expertise levels quick. Now... I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, look at the theater. You can see all these weapons are proficient. I don't even use the USC or K KSG. I mean, it, it's just a, such an easy strategy. But all right, everybody. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I'm trying to get everyone on the same page. I keep getting questions from everyone I know. Friends, other content creators, uh, uh, clan members just random people on YouTube or Xbox, whatever. And uh, they're all asking the same thing about expertise levels and proficiency levels. And I understand it's a little confusing, so I figured I'd make this video and try to help you out. If you feel that this video does help or is informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit the thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We're making our way to 41,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. And let me know how I did in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next one. If you want to share your strategy on how to get your expertise levels up, by all means, let me know in the comment section below. But uh, with all that said and done, I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.